Hi and welcome to this tutorial. This time we will have a look at the logo element from the Thrive Editor. Now this element comes in handy if you want to easily upload a logo to your website and then bring changes to it that will be reflected on all posts or pages where you have displayed that logo. So let's jump right into the tutorial and see how to use this element. So first of all you will have to add a logo element to your page. So I have a page right here on my screen and the logo element will be found here in the right sidebar. You can see it listed under the foundation set of elements. And I'm going to be adding the logo to my header section. So for that, I'm going to have to first click on my header, then click on edit. And now I can simply go ahead and open the right sidebar list of elements and drag and drop the logo to my header. So from the very beginning, you are able to choose if you want the light or dark version of the logo, depending on the color of the section where you're placing it. So naturally, if your header is a light color, you will want to use the dark version of your logo, just as I did here, so that it will be clearly visible on your page. So there's a nice contrast here and the logo stands out. Now the same applies to the footer section. So if I have a dark footer like I have right here, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be applying the light version of my logo so that I will get the same effect. So I'm just going to have to select it from here. And as simple as that, I've managed to get the same nice contrast as I did in my header. Okay, so now we can start using the options of the element to customize it. So let me just select it once more and see what options we can use here. So you can see this note letting you know that the logo is a global element which updates simultaneously in all places where it's used on your website. Next here you can see that you can set the Thrive Team Builder and the Thrive Apprentice logos from this left sidebar list of options, but you can also set them directly from your Thrive Apprentice or from the Thrive Team Builder wizard. Now, if you haven't uploaded any logo to your website yet, you will get this default one, like the one displayed here. And you can easily change it if you click on these two little arrows, then access the media library. And I'm just going to upload the dark version of my logo here. And now in the same section, I'm going to upload the light version of my logo. So for the logo that's displayed in my footer, but I'm not going to go and select it. I'm just going to change it from here. And now my logo should display the light version here without having to actually select it and edit it manually. So basically what has happened is that the default logos have been replaced in both places with my newly chosen images and I did not have to actually click on the light version of my logo from the footer in order to change it. Now here you can play around with some of the options that are available. So you can adjust the size from this slider and you can also add an alternative text here that will show up in case there's some error and the logo will not be displayed properly. And then here, if this toggle is active, then you will be able to add a link to your logo. So I'm just going to deactivate it and show you the next feature, which is adding logo variations. So this means that whenever you will be dropping a new logo element to your page, you can choose if you want to use the default one that you've set here, or if you want to use a variation that you can very easily add from this button. And this will basically allow you to switch between them simply by clicking on the variation that you want. So what I'm going to be doing now is adding a new logo element to my page. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a new variation and it's going to be the same text, but just in a different typeface. And now I'm just going to select it from here. Of course, you can add multiple logo variations. If you want, you can also add multiple logos to your page. This is entirely up to you. Now let's see what happens if you remove a variation. So from here you can either rename it or delete it. And if you do that, you will see this message letting you know that the variation has been deleted and cannot be displayed anymore. And this is only visible in the editor, so the visitors of your website will not see this message. Now for the default logo, the situation is slightly different. So if you want, for example, to reset the default logo, you will have to come here to your Thrive Team Builder, then access the Branding tab, and here in the logo section, simply click on reset next to the logo that you would want to remove and then proceed with adding a new image from here. Lastly, there's one more feature I would like to show you here. So let's say you want this logo to be displayed on bigger screen sizes. So for the desktop mode or for the tablet and mobile view, you'd like a logo that looks better on smaller devices. So what you can do is to access the tablet or mobile view from here. I'm going to go for the mobile one and then upload your logo as a variation. 
So I'm going to add the variation from here. Then select my logo and switch with the variation version. So now the logo that's here will not be identical to the one that's on my desktop mode. Now that's about it. I hope you found this tutorial useful and easy to follow and don't forget to check out our knowledge base for more tutorials of this type.